We head to the nation's capital, where the Senate Judiciary Committee finished in a deadlock vote, 11 to 11, over Katanji Brown Jackson's Supreme Court bid. That vote sets things up for a potential confirmation vote by the end of this week, and it comes after days of rigorous testimony and debate from Republicans and Democrats. News Nation's Anna Warnicke is in Washington with details on how today unfolded. Nicole, the Senate Judiciary Committee is evenly split with 11 Democrats and 11 Republicans. But even without Republican support, Senate Democrats say they will still manage to push Judge Jackson's confirmation forward. This meeting of the Senate Judiciary Committee will come to order. When the Senate Judiciary Committee gaveled in Monday, all 11 Republican senators made their position on Judge Katanji Brown Jackson clear. They may like her as a person. I've known Judge Jackson for 30 years. I've always liked her personally. But they don't like her on the high court. If Judge Jackson is confirmed, I believe she will prove to be the most extreme and the furthest left justice ever to serve on the United States Supreme Court. Texas Republican Senator John Cornyn questioned Jackson's ability to decide cases fairly. I have concerns that Judge Jackson will be pinch hitting for one team or the other. Judge Jackson is not an extremist. She is not out of the judicial norm. Democrats, including New Jersey Senator Cory Booker, defended Jackson and said her work as a trial judge makes her even more qualified to become the first black woman to serve on the high court. Judge Jackson is poised now to make American history. The committee vote was delayed for several hours because California Democratic Senator Alex Padilla's plane was delayed. It's going to be... Republicans versus Democrats. Democrats needed all 11 senators on the committee present to advance the confirmation with a tie vote. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is expected to file a motion to discharge, pushing the confirmation out of the committee to the full floor for a vote with only a simple majority. For now, for News Nation in Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. Nicole, back to you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.